everybody, it's Wendy Cranford. Today we are going to make this super cute Be Happy card. I found this sketch on Mojo Monday's blog. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Mojo Monday, but they do sketches. And so I was on Pinterest and I saw this sketch and I thought it was really cute. So this is the card I created from that. And it's also partially inspired from one of my downlines um, card, Michelle Gonser. And I will have a link to her blog on my website so you can check out what she did that's kind of similar but different. So let's get started and make this card. I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock here cut at 5.5 by 8.5. I'm just going to fold it in half to make an A2 size card. And then I have a piece of the new Back to Black uh, Designer Series paper. And my adhesive is not in front of me. Here it is. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is cut at two and a half by four inches. And I'm just going to quickly layer it down. Isn't this cute on the other side? Okay. And then I've got a piece of Melon Mambo, one of my favorite Stampin' Up! colors. And it's cut at two and a half by one and seven eighths inch. And then I have a piece of Bermuda Bay cardstock cut at two and a half inches by one and seven eighths. And I am going to layer it down here, lining it up with the edge of the Melon Mambo on each side and the bottom of the back to bl black so that it's kind of like it makes it a square on the outside, if you can see what I'm saying there. All right, and then we have a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock, and I've punched this out using my two and a half inch circle punch. So we're going to do some quick stamping. I'm going to use Stays on Ink, and we're going to stamp this adorable little bee. This is one of our new stamp sets called Sweet Stuff. If you want to get this stamp set, you can head over to my website and go to my online store and order it. It's super cute, um, and it, I just can't wait to keep on playing with it. There's so many options for it. It's got some really cute sentiments and adorable images. So now what I'm going to do with this little bumblebee is I'm using my basic black marker and I'm going to color in a couple of his stripes just like this. And then I'm using my Uniball gel pen, white gel pen, and I'm going to just color in his wings. And this is what I saw on Michelle's blog and I thought, oh, genius, have to do that. So and then we're just going to have a piece of cardstock here. Uh, it's a Whisper White cardstock and I'm using Melon Mambo ink. And I'm using the sentiment Be Happy. You see that my stickers have not even been put on these stamps yet. <laughs> That's how new they are. My sweet little girl sat and took all the white things off for me last night on all my new stamp sets, but I still haven't been able to get all my stickers on yet. So that's just a work in progress. All right, and then I'm going to be using the second smallest. So if you start from the smallest one, second one up, this is the um, banner framelit, and I'm going to run that through the big shot real quick. Sorry if you can't see this on screen. I'm just going to leave a little extra space over here on this side of the sentiment so that I can put rhinestones when I'm all done because, you know, if you watch my videos, I'm a rhinestone kind of girl. I'm always looking for a place to stick a rhinestone. Alright, so I'm going to pop that out and I'm just going to use dimensionals on the back of this one. Put my little B at the top there. And then um, I'm just going to use regular adhesive on this layer. This is just the most happy, fun card. I love, love this card. I love how happy it is. Um, the colors are bright and fun and beautiful, and I love the color combo of Bermuda Bay, Melon Mambo, and Daffodil Delight. I'm kind of obsessed with that color combo. The other color that goes really good is Tempting Turquoise in the place of Bermuda Bay. 
So I'm going to put three pretty large rhinestones here. And that is our card. I would love for you to check out my blog. It's been revamped, so it's got a lot of new really cool stuff on it. And um, I've been just adding things as I go. Um, and I'm looking to add seven more new team members to my team by the end of June. Right now we have a recruiting promotion going on for $50. You can become a member of Stampin' Up! And um, that membership is definitely means that you're a demonstrator with Stampin' Up! However, um, being a demonstrator does not mean you have to have workshops and classes. It can mean that you're just a hobby stamper. We welcome hobby stampers. And, um... We have lots and lots of hobby stampers on our team. So if you're interested in that and you have questions, feel free to email me at wendy.cranford at live.com. Until next time, be happy. Bye-bye.